Today we will see how to diagonalize a real symmetric matrix using orthogonal matrices and also we will see uh, how the quadratic will be converted into a conic section or a canonical form. So first we will start uh, how the orthogonal matrices will be useful to find out the diagonal matrix of a matrix. So we have to take one example problem. So let us take the example of A that A matrix is 2 minus 2 minus 2 5. So this is the matrix. So now what is our uh, formula to diagonalize? The formula is that D. D is P inverse A P. So till now we know that means we have discussed last class how to diagonalize the matrix. To diagonalize the matrix we have to construct this P matrix and what is P? P consists of all the eigenvectors of A column wise. Now here how to find using orthogonal matrix. Now first step is we have to find P and where here P is nothing but a orthogonal matrix. So how to find it? The same procedure we will find. So P will consist of the uh, same eigenvectors of A but here we will take the orthonormal of those things. Now how to find, let us take, so A is this, now from this you have to find the first eigenvalues. So for finding the eigenvalue, what to do, we have to find the characteristics matrix that is A minus lambda i. So this and determinant of this equal to 0. So if we do, so it will be 2 minus lambda minus 2 minus 2. 5 minus lambda so this will get this equal to 0 so if we solve it then what we will get the lambda square here it will be lambda square then plus or minus minus 7 lambda then it will be uh, third term will be determinant of a that is 10 minus 4 that is 6 equal to 0 so we will get these things now if we solve this one, so it will be lambda square minus 6 lambda minus lambda plus 6 equal to 0. So from this we can take lambda common, so lambda minus 6 then minus 1 into lambda minus 6 equal to 0. So from this two equation we got the two factors lambda minus 6 into lambda minus 1 equal to 0 and from this combination either this will be 0 or this will be 0. So if in that case how to find so lambda will be either 6 or 1. So that there are two lambda value or two eigenvalues. So for that we need to construct the eigenvectors. So how to construct the eigenvectors? So first we will take lambda equal to 6. For lambda equal to 6 we will construct the eigenvectors of A. Now eigenvectors of A how we will find? That is a minus 6 i we have to find and we have to find the solution for this matrices. So how it will be? So it will be 2 minus 6 minus 2 minus 2 5. Okay. So <clears throat> like this. So my 5 minus 6. So this will reduce to minus 4 minus 2 minus 2 that is minus 1. Now what we will do again we will apply the row form. So row form if we will do so what will happen it is very easy that is R2 changes to what R2 minus 2 R1. So if we do like that so it will be minus 4 minus 2 0 0. Now from this we have to get the solution. How to get the solution? It will be minus 4x1. If x1, x2 are the variable then minus 4x1 minus 2x2 
will be 0 that means 4x1 equal to 2x2 sorry minus 2x2 now this will be what 2x1 equal to what minus x2 now if I take now if I take x1 x2 like this means if I take x1 1 then x2 will be minus 2 so this way we can construct the first eigenvector now the second eigenvector how to compute so for lambda equal to 1 so lambda equal to 1 will be a minus i so a minus i will be what 2 minus 1 minus 2 minus 2 5 minus 1 so if we uh, solve this one so it will be what 1 2 minus 2 so this will be 4 so this will be minus 2 now what we will do here we have to make it 0 so we have to change r2 r2 changes to r2 plus 2 r1 so if we do that then what will happen 1 minus 2 this will be 0 as 0 we will get this one so from this equation what we will get x1 minus 2x2 equal to 0 so if x1 minus 2x2 equal to 0 that means x1 equal to 2x2 so if I take x1 x2 so then what will be the vector x1 will be if I take 1 or then it will be in fraction form so better to take x2 equal to 1 so x1 will be 2 so we got 2 1 so if I write this as b1 and this as b2 then this will be what this will be vector b1 and now this will be vector b2 after that what we will get if we take the uh, orthogonal or the orthonormality so orthonormality means we have to construct w1 so w1 will be what b1 by norm of b1 or length of b1 so what is b1 b1 is 1 minus 2 so this divided by what this length of this means so as root of 1 square plus minus 2 square that is root 5 w2 will be similarly b2 by b2 norm so in this case it will be 2 comma 1 transpose divided by again root 5 now if I write this as matrix so matrix form so it will be P now P will be what if we write it column wise W1 W2 this one so uh, this will be what 2 cross 2 matrix so it will be W1 will be 1 by root 5 minus 2 by root 5 then 2 by root 5 1 by root 5 so this way we can construct the P matrix and if we know this matrix then what will happen here we know that for orthogonal matrix P inverse equal to P transpose so for orthogonal matrix here P inverse equal to P transpose so how to compute then D now D will be our P transpose A P ok because P inverse is P transpose so if I write P transpose and multiply then what we will get so here we will do this one so uh, P transpose is this 1 by root 5 2 by root 5 minus 2 by root 5 1 by root 5 this into A A is 2 minus 2 minus 2 5 this into 1 by root 5 2 by root 5 minus 2 by root 5 1 by root 5 so if we multiply this one then what we will get we will do here so this will multiply with this so it will be 2 by root 5 then uh, plus minus 2 minus 2 plus so 4 that is 6 by root 5 
then again minus 2 okay and uh, that is minus 10 so minus 12 by root 5 similarly 2 by root 5 that is 4 by root 5 minus 2 that is 2 by root 5 again uh, minus 2 minus 4 then 5 that is 1 by root 5 so this again that same matrix so if we multiply what will happen so it will be uh, again will 24 plus 6 30 30 by root 5 that is 6 okay then it will be 0 okay 0 and final will be 1 so now this is our diagonal matrix where 6 is first eigenvalue and 1 is another eigenvalue so in this way we can use the orthogonal matrix uh, concept to diagonalize a real symmetric matrix.